and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. No love but boycott for UNWTO Cultural Tourism Conference in Nigeria. Tourism operators in Nigeria under the aegis of the Federation of Tourism Associations of Nigeria, FTAN, have kicked against the planned hosting of the United Nations World Tourism Organizations, UNWTO, first conference on cultural tourism and creative industries. UNWTO coordinated a similar conference with UNESCO in 2017 in Oman. This UN event is hosted by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, FTAN says it is of no benefit to either the Nigerian tourism or the operators and therefore resolved to stay away from participating in it. This development was disclosed in Lagos yesterday at a press conference addressed by the president of FTAN, Nikuruam Oning, when he made known the position of the operators on the conference and advanced reasons why President Muhammadu Buhari should prevail over the Minister of Information and Culture, Al-Haji Lai Muhammad, to shelve the planned conference and address more pressing issues facing the tourism sector. Muhammad had recently inaugurated a central planning committee to organize the UNWTO conference, which is planned for November 14 and 17 as part of events slated for the reopening of the National Arts Theater, Iganmu, Lagos, which is presently being renovated through the Nigeria Bankers Committee. According to Oning, the Federation has written a formal open letter to President Buhari on the matter, stating why hosting the conference is inimical to Nigeria. The letter is titled, Hosting of United Nations World Tourism Organization's First Conference on Cultural Tourism and Creative Industries, a wild goose chase of no benefit to Nigeria and Nigerian cultural tourism and creative industries. Owning Hinge the private sector tourism operators resolved to boycott the conference principally on the neglect of the sector by the minister over the last seven years, noting that the minister has completely abandoned Nigerian tourism with no impact whatsoever from the ministry on its development and promotion despite the huge budgetary allocation to the sector yearly. He said at no time has the minister met with the private sector to deliberate on areas of policies, concerns, and problems facing the sector and operators and work out implementable strategies in addressing identified concerns. Owning disclosed that all efforts made to have a meeting with the minister to discuss the way forward for the sector proved abortive, with no response from to the over six letters written. But rather than meet with them or attend local tourism events, the minister, he said prefers to attend meetings and events outside the country hosted by the UNWTO on tourism and culture where he only parades himself as the country's tourism minister while the domestic tourism is suffering from government's neglect. Hosting the November UNWTO conference, he noted is not what the country needs to recover from its present economic woes as it is only an avenue to enrich a few people and fritter taxpayers' money away in a mere jamboree that is of no benefit contrary to what the minister has made the presidency and nation to believe. The open letter reads in part, the Supervising Ministry for Tourism, the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, and the Minister in Charge, Al-Haji Lai Muhammad, is, to say the least, have neglected tourism, with no basic policy direction, programs and activities wholly initiated and or in partnership with the private sector to drive tourism in other to improve its contribution to the country's GDP. Not even in the difficult era of COVID-19 when most of the MDAs worked closely with the private sector to devise palliatives for survival strategies did the minister and ministry think it wise to court the private sector. The only reaction from the minister was to set up a controversial creative industry committee to work out palliatives for the sector. Unfortunately, the recommendations of the committee and the review committee are today gathering dust and cobwebs in the golden cabinet of the minister, neither disclosed nor recommendations implemented. Moving to recent happenings, the common dominator of the pre-COVID-19 era all over the world, is tourism recovery strategies championed by the UNWTO. Sadly, the minister has not felt the need to work in this direction especially given our peculiar situation, with our economy bleeding and our tourist destinations gripped by insecurity that does not repose confidence in tourists and investors in revamping our neglected tourism. 
Rather, what we have seen over the last seven years is that the minister and the ministry have been more focused on merely attending international events and meetings of the UNWTO and thus becoming biting specialists by lobbying to get hosting rights to any UNWTO-related events without putting in perspective the attendant economic cost and benefits to the country. The latest in the quest by the minister and ministry to turn Nigeria into Father Christmas and host country specialist for anything labeled UNWTO is the forthcoming First World Conference on Cultural Tourism and Creative Industry scheduled to hold between November 14 and 17, 2022 at the National Arts Theater, Iganmu, Lagos now undergoing renovation courtesy of the Nigeria Bankers Committee, which the minister said is now to be renamed, Lagos Creative and Entertainment Center. Mr. President Sir, we the private sector, strongly believe that this world conference is of no benefit to Nigeria and our tourism industry. It is rather self-serving and more of personal aggrandizement and these can be deciphered from a critical analysis of the present state of our tourism and culture. UNWTO states on its website. Objectives of the conference. In line with promoting cultural heritage, one of the priority areas of the UNWTO Agenda for Africa 2030 Tourism for Inclusive Growth, which was spearheaded by the UNWTO Secretary General and the programmatic priority of UNWTO on protect our heritage, social, cultural and environmental sustainability, this high-level conference will have the following objectives. Gather top-notch panelists and stakeholders to discuss linkages and opportunities between cultural tourism and the creative industries. Offer a unique networking opportunity for industry players, practitioners, government officials, and policymakers to debate contemporary and future issues, as well as exchange ideas and information relating to tourism, culture, and the creative industry. Promote innovative policies to harness the symbiotic potential of cultural tourism and the creative industries. Identify investment avenues and mobilization of human and financial resources to boost recovery. Share best practices around the world in areas such as Nollywood film production. Productions in Nigeria, Autonomous Support Fund for Culture in Cabo Verde, FAAC, the FESPACO Film Festival in Burkina Faso, the Marrakesh Film Festival, Festival de Cannes, and Berlinale Film Festival in Berlin, among others, UNESCO Intangible Heritage Sites Around the World, Congolese Rumba Dance, UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List, the MOUTYA Traditional Dance of Seychelles, UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List, Grand Festival of Tangira, Bolivia, Breton Dance, France, Flamenco, Spain, Communities Festivities in Campo Maior, Portugal, Indonesia Gamelan, Traditional Indonesia Percussion Orchestra, in Gastronomy for instance, Siguyan, A Culinary Art of Senegal, Jumu Soup of Haiti, Couscous Algeria, Mauritania, Morocco, and Tunisia, Valencian Paella of Spain, Belgian Beer Culture, Oktoberfest of Munich, Germany, Traditional Chinese Food, French Cuisine, etc. Identify Capacity Building Gaps in the Sectors and Products development, marketing, and digitalization, discuss the importance of creating creative ecosystems such as the protection of copyrights in the film industry, heritage sector, arts, media, functional creations, etc., and bring to the fore sustainable solutions for cultural tourism and the creative industries. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.